Hey guys, welcome back to the guide on Discord.js official buttons. In this video, I'll be covering the things that you need to know to use and make buttons on Discord.js version 13. For your information, you can't use Discord buttons npm package on Discord.js version 13, so you might want to stick around and update your code. If you're still on version 12, you can use npm i Discord.js at dev to use the latest features of the master branch. So you can do that simply by opening terminal. Okay, let me just zoom in okay all you need to do is npm i discord js at dev and you should be good to go let me string this back and then yeah let's move on to our first topic which is creating a button so let me just create a command real quick um let me just create a ca category called buttons so you can demonstrate all the buttons and then in here we can just do buttons.js All right, so we're just gonna use the basic setup, uh, as you mentioned, DJS, and then we're just gonna call this, um, this command button. All right, so let's say you want to send a message with some buttons. So let's just create a function to send the message, message channel to send, and then here you're just gonna do content, uh, hello, world. Okay, so in here, once you've done your content, just gonna make a comma, and then you're just gonna do components. Okay, so what this component takes in, it's taking in of the message action row. So let me just show you guys what message action row is. <laughs> so let me just require it from Discord.js real quick, as well as buttons. So we can do that by message button. So basically, message button is actually inside of the message action row, which will be passed into the components in here. So let me show an example if I want to create a uh, a action row with a button in it so you can just do const row equals to new message action row it works uh, the same way like message embeds and then uh, you can just do add components okay so the first component we're just going to add a button so you can add like a uh, slider a you know a menu button or whatever it is so in this case i'm just going to show an example with buttons so i'll explain more on this later so set custom ID, we're just going to pass in something like a random. Okay, and then I'll set label, and then I'm just going to do primary. Okay, uh, don't worry about this. I'll explain about labels, uh, the styles, whatever it is. So let me just, uh, primary, and then set. Okay, that's all. Yep. Okay, so this is uh, what I mean by message action row. So message action row is actually the parent and then we're just going to add the components inside of it so for each uh message uh the maximum amount of message action row you can add is five message action row so basically you only can add five rows inside a component and then uh you only can add five components inside a message action row if that makes any sense Okay, don't worry about this. If you face any issues, feel free to join the support zone. Links will be in the description. Uh, our staff team will be helping you guys. All right. So this is a basic button. Okay, actually, you can just pass this in. Let's just try this out because why not? Okay, let me just go to Discord. And then uh, let me see if the bot is ready. What is the issue? Okay, just ignore that. All right. So you can do exclamation mark button. And as you can see here, uh, hello world primary so if i click on this it's just gonna say interaction failed because we haven't handled this button yet all right so um we can actually also disable a button by doing the set disabled and then we can just pass in true or false so if false it's clickable and if it's true you can't click it so let me show an example real quick if i set it to true and then if i go back to discord and do button you can see here i can't click the button anymore all right, so next, um, we're going to talk about colors. So um, it's actually in set style. So there's a few styles in here. So let me just show you guys. Uh, danger, link, primary, secondary, success. All of, you only can have five types of color of buttons as per right now, as per recording this video. So uh, you should see an image on the screen right now. You can see all of the uh, colors and uh, how does it look, actually. So let me just experiment uh, this with some buttons. So I'm actually going to create every single button in here. So we can actually copy this. And then we can just add commas. 
oops it's actually really messy for five and then we can just uh format it all right so this is gonna be the primary button so let me just set custom menu to primary and then set label primary correct and then uh, we're just gonna set primary in here which is gonna be blue and then set disabled we're not gonna use set disabled all right because we're just gonna demonstrate let me just remove all the set disabled real quick uh all right okay so this is our second button so i'm just going to call this secondary and then the label which is the title of the uh secondary button okay and we're just going to do secondary bt bt and then set style we're just going to do secondary all right and then third one is going to be success which is going to be green uh and then we can just do in here success and then set star we can just do success okay and then the next one is going to be danger which is going to be red so let me just do something okay custom id is not important as per right now so let me just show you guys uh the labels and the styles so danger and we can just set style to danger as well and then lastly is the link so we can uh Okay, so for link, it's a little different. So let me just, uh, I'm not just gonna, I'm not gonna show you guys how to use link right now. So let me show you four of these buttons right now. Okay, so if I head on to Discord, I do a wipe, uh, exclamation mark button. You will see here there's primary, and this is the secondary, secondary button. So as you can see here, this is the title of the button, and this is the ID of the button. Okay, so secondary button is here, success button is here, which is green, and then danger, lastly danger, we have it in red. So, what's, uh, let's say you want to create a link button. So, it's actually pretty simple, but there is no custom ID for link buttons. So, let me just create a link button. So, new message button. We'll set uh, label, will be YouTube. Okay, so let me just say I want to link my YouTube into this button. And then uh, we can just do set. And then uh, we can. And then we can do set URL. Set URL. And we can just pass in our URL in here, which is HTTPS. Uh, YouTube.com slash recon Alex. Okay, and then we can just set the label. Did we set the label already? Yep, we set the label already. And then uh, we can also set the style, which is going to be link. All right, so do keep in mind that set URL only works if the style is link. If it's not link, the set URL won't work. So let me just save this and let's just try this out. Exclamation mark button. Okay, since here, if I click on here, it's going to bring me to youtube.com slash require. So let me just click on yep. And let's just see. Yeah, this is my YouTube channel. All right. So that is all about the button style. Let me just move on to teaching you guys how to respond to the buttons. So there's two ways to respond to the buttons. The first way is actually using the events. The other way is using button collector. So I will show you guys how to use the event first. Then I'll show you guys how to use the button collector later on. So um, for this, I'm just going to go to the event section. And we're gonna go to interaction create section. All right. So this is for the command, uh, the slash command video. If you haven't seen the it, I'll link it down in the description. There's two parts of the video. So yeah. Okay. So to register buttons, it's actually pretty simple. So we can just do if interaction dot is button. Okay. So it's gonna say that once it's in here, it's definitely a button. All right. And then we can just do console dot log interaction. So we can look at the interaction. And then this is not necessary. I'm just going to debug it. I mean, I'm just going to show you guys what's going on. And then we can just do interaction. The reply. And then uh, we can just say uh, content. Uh, and then we can just do interaction. We can just say who clicked me. So we can just do interaction. The user attack clicked me. All right. It's pretty simple. So let's just try this out. So if I click on button, okay, as you see here, recon clicked me. It doesn't matter uh, when the button was sent because whenever you click a button, an interaction event will be fired. So if I click on here, 
it's gonna say uh recon click me and then click on danger it's gonna send okay it's gonna send like that okay it's very simple okay so if i open up the terminal and then if i make it a little bigger okay you can see all of these you can have the message and then you can have the uh custom id okay which is success and then we can actually make some checks in here so i will show you guys how to make that as well so okay so we're gonna check if it's primary it's gonna send primary if it's secondary button it's gonna send secondary button and if it's the other buttons we're just gonna say um you click the wrong button okay what about that okay so if the interaction dot cost what was that dot custom id is equals to primary i can type we're just going to do a um, uh, interaction dot reply and then we can just content um you click the primary button all right uh, let me just put it like that a little bit all right perfect and then else if interaction the custom id is equals to secondary we're just going to do interaction the reply and then we just do content um you clicked on a secondary button Okay, so we're just going to take in both of these. If it's the outer buttons, we're just going to say that you click the wrong button. So you can do that by doing else, uh, return interaction dot reply, and then content, um, you clicked the wrong button. So we'll just save this and let's just test this out. So if I go back to Discord, okay, and I do button again, so you can get all the new buttons. So click on success. It's going to say you click on the wrong button. If I click on primary, it's going to say you click on primary button, which is specified over in here. And then if I click on secondary button, it's going to say you click on secondary button, which is also specified in here. And if I click on danger, it's going to say you click the wrong button. So let me just try to click on that. It's here, you click the wrong button. All right. So um, that should be it for the interaction uh, create event. All right, so let's just say you want to make a ban command and using events is actually not the way to go because you want to have access to the message, you want to ac have access to the arcs. So there's a way to use ban commands with buttons. So that's called the message component collector. So let me just create a ban command real quick, a fake ban command. So let's just say that, just assume that this is a ban command and then we can just uh, add some buttons. So we can just do const row equals to new message action row and then we can just set um add components and then we can just add a message button misspelled this and then uh set set label and then we're just gonna say yes and then we can just do set uh style we want it green so we're just gonna say success and then a uh, set custom id and then just say yes okay so this is the yes button and the other button is going to be the no button so new message uh, button and then we can just do label set label uh, no and then set style style danger so uh, we want danger because we want it to be red and then set custom ID oops there shouldn't be a comma in here dot set custom ID and in here we're just gonna do no all right so this is buttons and then we can just do um message message dot channel dot send and then we can do content and we can do are you sure are you sure you want to ban this user question mark and we just do in here comma and then we can pass in the components components and then we can just pass in row in here all right so let's just test this out if i go to discord and i can do button uh oh it's ban okay are you sure you want to ban this user yes or no so this is just a fake command so don't use this as your ban command because it's not actually going to ban just a test all right so we can easily create a collector by defining collector first so const 
collector equals message dot channel dot create um message component collector. All right, and then uh we're gonna have a filter, and then we're just gonna have a max of one. So we only want a single button per collector. So let me just define a filter real quick. So we can just do const filter equals to a function. I don't know why you keep doing uh why you keep doing that. So interaction. Okay, so we need to make sure that the interaction dot user the ID is equals to message the author the ID because we only want the author to be able to use this button. Alright. Actually we can do this. Um if if this and then we can just do uh return true else we're just gonna do return interaction dot reply interaction dot follow let me just do interaction dot reply and then content you can't use this button so it only allows the message author id to use this uh to register the uh, message component collector or else it's just gonna say you can't use this button okay perfect um so we have our collector in here the filter is over in here and then next we're just gonna do collector dot stop so once it gets i mean collector on and okay so once it gets a single um a single interaction it's gonna trigger this event over here and we're gonna have access to the interaction so let me just call this button interaction. Okay. And then uh we can just do console.log button interaction dot first and then we can get the custom ID, custom ID. Alright, so uh if I try to run this again, estimation about ban. Okay, if I pull up my terminal at the side so you can see it, click on no, you can see here it re it registers no. And if I click on yes. It's not going to register anymore because the maximum amount of reaction that we're going to receive is one. So we can just do a simple if statement in here. So let me just say um in here we can just pass in something like const id equals to this, and then um if id is equals to and then we can just check the id um yes, and then we're just going to do return message dot channel dot send band user or else if or else it's going to be if id is equals to no and then uh we're just going to say uh cancelled actually so message or channel dot send and then uh cancelled action okay all right so if i go on discord and I do exclamation mark ban and then uh, you should see are you sure you want to ban this user so you can click on yes and then we can say bland user. And then uh, if I click on no again, it wouldn't say anything anymore because it's only taking one uh, one interaction. So let me just fix this. This interaction failed. So we can do this by doing um, button interaction dot first dot defer update. Or we actually say, uh, we can actually send the reply in here. So we can just do um remove this and then let me just do old interaction create real quick okay and then um in here instead of sending a message we're just going to do button interaction dot first dot reply and then we can just pass in the reply which is banned okay the same thing over here we're just going to change this into button interaction dot first dot dot reply all right, perfect. Okay, so if I try to run exclamation mark ban again, and then if I click on yes, it's gonna say banned, and if I click on no, it's not gonna say uh, banned anymore. So if I try to run ban again, and click on no, it's gonna say canceled action. So that should be it for the buttons guide. So if you have any more questions or anything you need to touch on, feel free to support so links will be in the description. If you wanna watch more of these tutorials, you see a place that you can click on on the screen right now. Arnett, have a nice day. See you in the next video. Bye.